And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. It's Women's History Month, and we're celebrating women doing cool things in their communities. Tonight, we meet Sally Florian, an up-and-coming spray paint artist who took a chance to follow her dreams, and she is living them out. Let's check it out. <laughs> Sully, when did you start painting and when did you realize you had a talent like this? Oh, since I was a little girl. I've been painting probably four or five years old. And so did someone say, you have real talent or did you see it yourself? It wasn't until I went to school that um, I realized not everybody could draw. <laughs> and so once the kids... Stick people. <laughs> right? <laughs> so once the kids and the teachers started saying something, that's when I realized, oh, okay, this is something a little special that I have. And so when did you say to yourself, I want to make this a career. I want to put my artwork so the world can see it. That came about... Uh, Eight, nine years ago, um, I was on the verge of turning 30, and I said, either now or never. <laughs> <laughs> so you did it. I did it. And so how would you best describe, I see here, you have Barbie up here, and, uh, and Little Mermaid, yes. right? <laughs> so how would you best describe the type of art you do? So my specialty is uh, portraits. This is my favorite thing to do. It's what I've been doing um, practically my whole career. Um, but I jump around from different kinds of genres and different uh, styles and materials even. Um, so a lot of popular um, artwork is pop art, um, a lot of Houston themed things, um, but I can practically do anything. Th this is just my favorite and what I specialize in. And what kind of materials do you use? I think what, spray paint in a can? Yes, so this... So that's done with spray paint? Yes, correct. Wow. Yes, so th these murals in particular have been um, spray paint, uh, but I do things uh, in acrylic as well. I do uh, mosaic tile as well, um, but this is... Uh, what most people And when for. we're doing work like this, Sully, how long does it typically take to do a mural, say, the size of Ariel here from Little Mermaid? So Ariel took me about, um, I believe, two days, two days or so That's to it? do. Yes, yes. This one was uh, a little easier. Barbie, because of the angle and the details, um, they were a little smaller, more compact. It took me about four days or so to create. And so when you create something like this and you give it to the world and someone says, that's beautiful, that's wonderful, how does that leave you feeling? Oh, it leaves me excited. I think that my favorite part, if I'm doing, say, a, a mural for a brick and mortar, somebody that's a business owner, and I can translate whatever's in their mind onto the wall, and they get so excited about it that they think, oh, this was in my mind, and now this is what it looks like. It makes them feel kind of like they've created it. That's my favorite part. I get very excited for that. Now, clearly, when you talk about murals and painting, uh, it's a male-dominated business. Absolutely. Is it ever difficult for a woman to break into and be respected in this industry? It can be, yes, absolutely. You just have to stay firm and just keep hustling, as they say, and um, eventually something comes about. Have you had any pitfalls dealing with men? Like, oh, she can't do that wall. <laughs> All the time. I love being the underdog. <laughs> <laughs> but you always prove them wrong. Absolutely. <laughs> and so what is your proudest work, you think? My proudest work, I'd, I'd say I've done a lot of work in uh, the Third Ward. And because it's with the community and I can bring the kids from the neighborhood in, to be a part of it, I think that sometimes is my favorite thing to do, just because it, it tells a story with the community. It also brings excitement to kids maybe looking forward to doing something like this, um, and then it brings something into their neighborhood where they possibly may not have the opportunity to see or have in their neighborhood. And is it part of your career path now to mentor and, and guide young artists along as well? I think so. I believe so. Um, whether it is that just doing the work itself, mentoring, or where somebody wants to communicate with me or have a sit down or I can mentor them one-on-one, -on -one, I absolutely think so. And make sure you check her out on Instagram at Ace Phoenix Art. At Ace Phoenix Art. She has some fantastic, incredible work. 